Merry Christmas. Um, I realize that I don't look terrific, but bear with me. I haven't used winged eyeliner in over a year, and this is shot from below, so I just thought that I would do a quick little overview of the things that I received, and to start off, if I'm talking quickly, it's not because I'm ungrateful, it's, it's kind of because I want to get through everything with time to spare. I'm, I'm so thankful to everyone who gave me these things, like honestly I couldn't ask for better family and friends, so um, I'm just gonna get started. I was gonna do it by person, but I'm kind of, I think I'm, I'm just gonna do it by like category. I don't really want to sort all the things into who got them for me, it's easier to do it this way. I think I'm gonna start off with records. One of my best friends, Azenia. I got Labyrinth on vinyl. It plays beautifully and it's like, cause I, uh, I listen to this and cry a lot when I'm, when I'm working on things and, uh, this is just a miracle. It's a miracle item. And then we got, oh geez, I could have cried. We got The Life Pursuit, which is my favorite Bell and Sebastian album. I have uh, Girls in Peacetime Want to Dance, also on vinyl, and then I have the God Help the Girls soundtrack, which is probably like top five movies of mine, but this is out of print, so I was like very afraid that I would never hold it in my hands, and now, now I can, and it's lovely, and it's wonderful, and I love it. This boy, ho ho ho, been after him for, not, not specifically him, him as in the record, for, uh, oh that was from my dad by the way, this is also from my dad. Um, for like two, two years, or a year and a half, and it's beautiful, and I love it, and it's like definitely stoner music, and I don't do drugs, but <laughs> I love it. I love this whole album. It's such a happy, happy time, and look at these fun words. Wow! I bought for myself the Sing Street album, because I love it. I love it so much. Um, but I've got this because I wasn't gonna buy it because I was out of the store a few months ago and it was like a little, a little steep and then I saw it at a different store and it was $25 more expensive and I was like, well that's a little weird and then Asenia, who got me the Labyrinth one, said she went looking for this as a present for me and then it turned out that it was out of print but I went back to the store that had it before and it was still there and it was still the same price and so I snapped him up and I'm happy and I love him. I guess I'm gonna do books next. Also, I also got like a lot of snacks and like nice treats in my stocking but I'm not gonna show those. Plum Sykes is one of my favorite favorite authors. Oh my goodness, her books are so amazing because they're like chiclet, but they're like very, very classy. Um, so I've, I have both of her like collector's edition other ones, and I looked her name up the other day when I was in the bookstore and turned out that she put out another book, and it's a murder mystery, and it's like a fancy lady death book. <laughs> and it came out on my birthday, so I asked for that, and it's lovely called Party Girls Die in Pearls, an Oxford, uh, Ox, I didn't just like it, an Oxford girl mystery. I write a lot of short stories, like a lot, and I'm trying to get published, and so my mom, very thoughtfully, that was, that was also, like, that was from one of my parents, that's why. Um, <laughs> this is from my mom, and it's, it's a literary journal with lots of stories and interviews and things, and a friend of ours used to be the editor, I believe of Brick, and I'm very excited to read that boy. And then in my stocking, I got the Life Walt Disney reprint. Very excited about that. Lovely, lovely photos. Beautiful, wonderful, terrific. Cannot wait to read. That's from Santa, which is maybe my mom. And this is silly because I have liked these since I was like 14, I think. I'm almost 18 now. Um, and they're, they're definitely like young adult books, which I'm usually very opposed to, but they're just really fun. It's like being inside a Tumblr blog, kind of, which is something that I used to do when I was younger, which I don't as much anymore, but it's got like happy celebrity interviews, and it's just good, and I love it. It's very nice. And this is the second one, because I already have the first one that I got for Christmas two years ago. And then I guess everything else is kind of like a one-off. Got the Moonrise Kingdom Criterion Edition, and I want to show you all the special features, but I can't because this is going to take too long, but it's so good. And now I only have two more Wes Anderson Criterion DVDs that I don't have. I have all of the other ones, and I also have the non-Criterion ones, and I also have, like, all the art books. Ha 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 I have a problem. But this is a very, very happy, very happy. In my stocking, I just got, like... You know, some like toiletries, some face masks, shampoo, bubble bath, and oh, the books, sorry, I wasn't really, the DVD was from my dad, the the book was from Santa, the, the rookie yearbook 
This is also in my stocking. I love Audrey Hepburn. She's lovely and wonderful and this is just really sweet. It's like style tips inspired by Audrey Hepburn but it's got a lot of pretty pictures of her and it's just really nice. I love a good Moom. I do. I really do. Here's Moomin. Ship in a bottle. Very sweet. Very... I don't know who this is. This is Snork Maiden and it's got a lid and you can put the like date that you put it in the fridge and it's uh ceramic or china I don't know and I love it and I'm gonna put some good nudes dolls in there this one was really a fun surprise you don't know me none of you know this because I also I'm not a youtuber but the little prince is my life whenever I feel like I'm I maybe want to die I read it because it's a very grounding for me I don't know I started reading it when I was 10 or 11 and read it about 12 times since then. Um, and I have a Little Prince tote bag, but I saw this at a vintage store actually. It's from 98, so it's not like vintage vintage, but it's just this lovely little backpack and it's super nice sort of fake denim. And it's got heavy duty straps, but they also have the name of the book on them. And the little zipper fobs are the sheep that he draws. And then this is embroidered on there. It's just such a cool thing and I'm really happy about it because I forgot that I'd asked for it and that was nice. From my dad. That was from my dad and the bowl is from my mom. I'm sorry. It's mostly from my mom and dad and I love them. <laughs> my mom got me this real fun t-shirt. It's by a family friend of ours. She has a little boutique and I just, it's very silly. It's, I think it's really soft. It's gonna get you sleep in or wear to a fancy gala event. <laughs> My aunt, who's crazy, she got me way too much stuff. But she got me these really lovely little um, notebooks. And they're by Avril Loretti. But they're kind of like a origami paper style. I love that. Beautiful. And she also got me, I live in Toronto, so this is good. This is upside down. A TIFF membership. It's a membership to TIFF. I see movies like a lot, so that's a good call. Like, probably once or twice a week on average, which is excessive. And it, big, big thumbs up for that. There's like a quite, quite a number of dollars in here and I feel awful about it, but I'm very excited. I got this EOS trio with the, uh, Peppermint, mocha, vanilla bean, and sparkling ginger, which I haven't, I was really into EOS when I was in like grade six and seven, um, but oh my goodness, this throwback is such a happy one, because this tastes like delicious ginger ale. Let me tell you, that is a refreshing thing to have on one's lips, and it's shiny and lovely, and I've tried the other ones, and they're also lovely, but like, this one's my fave. In my stocking I got a really nice pack of scrunchies. There's a pink one and a blue one and this green one. Don't know where they are now. And also in my stocking I got this pack of playing cards. Lovely, lovely. Oh, here's my kitty. Look at Doot. Say hello. Yeah, he's he's not gonna say hello. He he intends to though, he just won't. I love him. In my stocking got this real cool spa mask kind of guy and you can heat it up or cool it down but I'm a little I'm a little cautious because it's got these kind of beads in it and I don't want it to like break open on my face but I really want to try it because I'm very fatigued about the eyes and people notice and I'm wearing a little bit of makeup so you can't really tell my eye bags go down to there that's a lie but it's, it's fine elephants are my favorite animal well elephants and giraffes and zebras sort of are like tied but elephants are probably number one because I love that bar. It's a little sweet, sweet pink elephant boy who's a mug, and you can put your tea bag in his head because I don't like my tea very strong. Um, and he's lovely. And I was actually there when my mom bought him, but I hit, she made me go away, so I didn't know for sure. But I I'm very happy about this. You know, I just got one of these. I mean, most of the snacks are over there, but this was. I already ate it, so. This hot water bottle may not look too exciting, but it is honestly such a happy time because 
I like to be warm, and last time I was dying of an illness, the hot water bottle broke, and I got burnt by boiling water, and it was a bad scene. And so this is like a very welcome friend. I love it. And I got these happy, happy, soft, warm plaid PJs from uh, The Gap. These are from my mom. And I feel like I could wear this just on a day and people wouldn't really look twice, which is good. It's very soft. I like. Talking, I got one of these like bun twist boy. You put it in there and it's good. <laughs> My same aunt got me this beautiful strawberry pin cushion with a single pin in it just so that I knew what it was, I assume. And I love it and I really should start sewing again because I've been hoarding fabric for years. <laughs> I have quite a collection of enamel pins and this is not like any of the other ones I have. And it's so me, and I was like, why did I not have this before? And it's from my mom. It's from the same shop as the uh, raccoon t-shirt, but it's beautiful, and it's a little happy pink rotary phone. Rotary phones are my life. I love them. When I got some slippies, these are, I asked for slippers, and this is exactly what I wanted. Because there are a lot of embellished ones out there. I just wanted a nice sensible slip. <laughs> From my best friend Tarquin, this is I can do all at the same time because it's in a uh, this. We sort of did small Christmas this year because, um, long story, we had jobs, they fell through, I mean we quit. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so we didn't have that much money this year so we, we sort of made each other some things and she, she tried her hand at making me a tote bag but she decided that it was better suited as a this. So, she made instructions as to what, what to use it for. Makeup brush, second head, sock, mat, cat bag. It's, it's pretty good. Sam. I love her. She's terrific. And then also, again on the rotary phone theme, this happy little notebook. I write a lot, as I mentioned, so these are always lovely to have. And this one's small, so I can just throw it in my bag, which I don't have a lot of that kind of thing. And she got me this really pretty lollipop from this store near her house where you can like watch them make the candy and it's very good. And then the final thing is this wonderful, wonderful Domino Guide to a Stylish Home coffee table book, which I hoard those. I don't have a coffee table, but I really like hardback small format, or that's, that's not really small format, is it? Books. And I have the Domino Color issue over here in my magazine collection because I like color and I like interior design even though this doesn't say much about that because I gotta redo my room I really I've gotta get a paint job happening here but uh, anyway it's really pretty and I love that and I sort of hinted at it earlier in the year so. and I got a $50 iTunes card from my Nana thank you Nana and I also got a $15 one in my stocking which I used to buy the Call Me By Your Name soundtrack and Elliot Smith Elliot Smith. Recommend both. Got two more things. This incredible sort of shrug that I was actually with. It's the same aunt again. <laughs> I was actually with her when she bought it. Oh, this is not the right way. But it's just good. It's got, it's really thick and warm and soft. It's got deep pockets and there's, there's a belt over here. And then, I cannot believe I forgot about this because it's the biggest boy loveliest, tear bringingest present that's real heavy. <laughs> it's a new typewriter. And let me tell you this. I have a typewriter and I love to type on it, but it's electric for seemingly no purpose and it just makes the whole house shake every time I use it. And it's loud and it's clunky, it's huge. And it's fine, but my mom this year decided to be a re real pal. And she got me this beautiful boy. And do you see him? He's so lovely. He's a beautiful color. And he's um, an Olivetti Underwood from the 60s. I actually sort of, she was like, hmm, typewriter? And this is, I found this one uh, for myself. There's a problem with one of the springs, but uh, we're going to either get it repaired or I can work around it. But it's, it's a manual, and it's beautiful, and it's like, it's what a happy Christmas. That's about it. That's all I'm going to show. 
but thank you and I hope you have a very happy holiday. Bye-bye.